And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to install a piece of software on this PC called Virtual Clone Drive. And the reason we use something like Virtual Clone Drive is it lets us mount these large ISO files like this one I have on the desktop over here, which is 4.2 gigs. And all an ISO file is, it's a disk image file. So it's a an image file of a disk, whether it be a DVD or a CD. So the first thing we want to do is we have to go out to the Internet to get it, so I'm going to start Internet Explorer here. And I'm going to go to a website called uh, SliceOff.com. SliceOff's the company that makes virtual clone drives. So once I'm there, I'll click over here on the bottom of the products list on virtual clone drive, and I want to download it. The green arrow here will let us download it. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. It's pretty small, so it'll go pretty quick. Okay. And we'll close the browser. And then there's our executable right over there. So we'll double-click our executable. And we're going to run it. And we'll agree. We're going to take the defaults here, because I want to associate it with these files. Next. And install. Okay, once that's finished, you can see that it took my little ISO file here and it associated it with the virtual clone drive. So what we, can, what we can do with this ISO now is we can right-click on it and then we can mount it. And what the, what the uh, software will do is it'll actually mount it as a drive, just like any other physical drive that you have inside the box. And in this case, I have a FTK app install and this is the auto run that comes up when you would click on it if it were a disk. And that's all there is to it.